My name is Sean Tracy. Coming out of high school, I was the number one safety recruit in the nation. And being named after one of the greatest safeties of all time, especially with Sean Taylor being my favorite safety ever, I feel like I had no choice but to go to the University of Miami, also known as the U. Not only that, but me and my family are from Miami. And even though I was way too young to even be able to watch Sean Taylor really play, I watched a lot of highlights from him and Ed Reed when they was at the U. And just watching how they played and how they tackled and getting hits and everything, that made me excited and made me really want to play football for real. And so I modeled my game after them. I'm a big hit safety and I'm a ball hawk. But along with that, I'm like 6'4 and like 230 pounds. So with all my skills and my God-given athleticism, I ended up being a five-star recruit out of high school. Thank God I was able to do that, because now I'm here at the U on scholarship. As I live in situation back at home, ain't too good. So if I wasn't offered a scholarship to any school, I definitely wouldn't be in college, because, you know, we not taking no loans. But not only am I here on scholarship, but I get to help out my family big with money I got from this huge NIL deal from Gatorade. And not only that, I had an incentive. If I caught a pick in my first game, I get a $10,000 bonus. So guess what? I did just that. Slant's coming across the field. I'm standing there waiting for the ball to get there. And I took that ball right out that receiver's hands. Give me that. Now look, in our first game, I say our defense looks amazing. But one thing that's a little scary is our offense. It doesn't look that good at all. We can create all these turnovers and everything, but still, we only have seven points. We won this game seven to six, so yeah, offense might need to start stepping up a little bit. We're going to see what happens, though. And in my first game, I did pretty good. Five tackles and a pick. We're in a big game against Florida, and I'm starting out this game with a big hit, letting them know what I'm on. Then on first and 10, I'm playing a deep zone, but I came down to help my teammate because he got beat on the out route, but I forced the incompletion. After taking a sack, it's third and 18, and the quarterback threw this ball right to my boy Devontae Brown, who picked this ball off and went for six to score our first points of the game. Next drive, the quarterback did a read option. Stiff on my teammate, and I'm coming down laying wood. But then on third and eight, quarterback threw the ball to the running back. The linebacker played that ball, but he didn't get there in time, so they ended up picking up the first down. They made a big mistake running the ball to my side. I'm coming down, laying wood once again. Third and 11, playing over the top. But as soon as he threw this slant, I came down and got a big hit. Fourth down. After getting that stop, offense couldn't score, so we're still 7-0, and on this play, I made a big mistake. I'm playing over the top, so I'm supposed to be able to guard this receiver that's going deep down the field. I tried to bait up the route so I could try to catch the pick, but instead, it went right over my head for a big play. But luckily, my teammates got my back. Third and goal, they played great defense on their interior and forced the incompletion. They gotta go for three. Now look, other than the big play I allowed, we've been playing some great defense, but on second and 14, I'm sorry, Devontae, but you got killed on this play. Tie game now going into the second half, and we gotta come out here with a dub because this game could possibly dictate the rest of our season. And I say that mainly due to the first game that we had when our offense really couldn't move the ball. But here, we're still playing great defense. Offense only got three. And for us to really take that real lead, we need to make a play. I'm going in the middle of the field. He tested me, and I'm catching this pick. Give me that. Man, having a game like this and only my second game and we at home just feels amazing. Florida them finally started building up a little drive. They got all the way to the red zone, third and four, and just great coverage everywhere. The quarterback tries to scramble, but he ended up getting sacked. Now look, they missed the field goal, but our offense turned the ball right back over. So they got a chance to go ahead and try to tie up the game. But me, I'm a playmaker. Guard in the middle of the field, QB thought his receiver was open, but nah, I'm catching the game clinching pick. Give me that. And there we go. I get my first player of the game with nine tackles and two picks. Man, when I tell y'all, the amount of love that was shown to me the next day of school on campus was crazy. From seeing all the love I was getting on campus, it made me just want to do one thing. And that's try to win a national championship in these three years I'm going to be here. And with the defense that we got, it's definitely possible. But right now, we're playing as an FCS team. And already, they're throwing a pick to my boy Devontae Brown. And he almost took it back for his second pick six. We got him to third and 10. I almost had a pick here, but I completely misjudged this ball. Just bad time, and I could have had that pick. Now look, remember when I said the offense is a little scary from the first game? Yeah, right now, we still have zero points against an FCS school. But as always, as a defense, we're going to keep on giving them more opportunities. We're stopping them, forcing them to kick a field goal. Now when I say scary, I mean this is frightening. We still have seven points in the second half. Third and four, and they did a trick play. The quarterback ended up getting a big game getting past the 50. And then on third and 11, I wouldn't even say that this was great defense. This was just bad on the quarterback. He overthrew the receiver who was on the sideline, and that's a stop. 
I guess. Offense finally got three points, so we're up a touchdown. Two minutes left, we got in the third and 15. And out of nowhere, quarterback throws a jump pass off his back foot completed for the first. And then on first and 10, the quarterback throws one of the most beautiful passes I've ever seen. On my boy Devontae Brown, right behind him, a big play, crazy diving catch. To be honest, I don't know how we're in this situation right now, but it's fourth and goal and finally we get this stop and it's a turnover. We win the game. We don't deserve it though. Now look, I ain't gonna lie. That game was a little humiliating. We shouldn't have been in a game like that against them. Cause now South Florida probably think they can beat us and we can't let that happen. Well, three points, first and 10, receivers standing there on a hitch where I'm coming down and laying a boom on it. Second and five, they try to run a triple option, but we had people all over there getting a tackle for loss. But then we played all this great defense. Just for on third and nine, quarterback throw a dot, picking up the first down. When I tell y'all one annoying thing about being a headhunter is quarterbacks that slide. Like, I, like, just let me hit you. Got them to another third down, and this time they're getting a slant, but he's getting tackled. Fourth down. We're having another one of them games. Offense really can't score. And here on second and 16, I tried to pick this ball off, played it perfectly, but just dropped it. Luckily, me dropping that pick didn't get him no momentum. Third and 16, quarterback ended up getting sacked. After dropping that pick earlier, I can't drop no more. Third and 15, quarterback threw the ball up. Devontae Brown could have had this pick, but he dropped it. And guess what? The ball fell right into my hands. Give me that pick. And that pick basically ended the game. We're currently undefeated. They're not ranked yet, but we're playing against one in three Georgia Tech. So far, it's the second half and we're up 14 to 10. And they offense don't look bad. Cause while a lot of teams try to pass the ball on us, it wasn't working. Them, they're running the ball at least getting like five, seven yards a play. And I mean, even on third and four, they decided to run the ball and they end up getting the first down. Finally, we got on that running stuff. End up getting a couple tackles for losses. Third and 16, they threw a slant just to get in the field goal range. After they got a field goal, they got a stop. Came all the way down the field, third and seven, and threw a dot for a touchdown to take the lead. But that's not it. They end up getting another stop. They're up seven points, and me, I can't let this happen. Third and ten, and I'm jumping this tight end route, picking this ball off. Give me that. And I tried to take the six, but the quarterback ended up tackling me. Now, hopefully, I put the offense in a close enough position to go ahead and get some points. All right, I got the stop. Offense got the points, and now we got to do our job again. Get another stop. Third and six is a very big play. A minute left in this game, and he threw a slant. Didn't pick up the first, but fourth and inches. And so, they kicked the field goal. But when offense got the ball back, they had a chance to score, and they didn't. They had about a minute left with two timeouts. And so, we lose our first game of the season. Now we're four and one. Just crazy that that's the way that we lose our first game of the season. But all that means is that gotta be the only game that we lose this season. Playing against undefeated North Carolina and already that boy Drake May's throwing a pick. Me and Devontae Brown jumped this route, but he got it. We are here playing in this game like how we should have played against Georgia Tech. We're up 17 to seven in the third quarter, got in the third and 17, forcing the fourth down. And I mean, in this game, we just playing the best defense we possibly could. Against an undefeated team, we had to play this good. And we ended up winning at their crib. But now we're back at our crib, five and one, and we're finally ranked number 25. And already we're catching a pick. Offense didn't score, but they're backed up. He's trying to throw this corner route. I thought I played it right, but I didn't get there in time. Luckily, it was out of bounds. Second and 10, speed option, and me being over aggressive, I tried to hit stick him, and I completely missed him. He got the first down. But then on second and 13, the quarterback ran a read option. Ended up getting hit, he fumbled, but they picked the ball up. And finally, we was able to get a stop on third and 13. He ended up taking a check down, and we all came down making the tackle. It is still a tied game in the second quarter, zero to zero. Speed option, threw that to the running back, and I'm getting back there making the tackle this time. It's about time we got points on the board. It's the third quarter, third and three, and we getting another stop. But then on next drive, while we're up 14 to zero, they ran the ball, and the running back got into the touchdown without being touched until he reached the touchdown. Luckily though, offense was able to get three points. Second and 18, they threw the ball down the field, got a miracle play, which didn't mean anything because on fourth and five, amazing defense by that DB, swatting that ball down. All right, man, about halfway through the season, I'm tied second in picks in the NCAA. If you don't know, Sean Taylor holds the University of Miami single season pick record at 10. And Ed Reed holds the University of Miami's career pick record at 21. And me, I got to break one of those records. Or maybe both. Eighth game of the season, a big rivalry game against Florida State. And they starting their game off with a bomb down the field. Second and 12, and the quarterback decided to scramble. And finally, I had my opportunity to get a big hit on the quarterback. He ain't slide. But then he got up from that hit and on third and six threw a dot to pick up the first down. 
They ended up scoring when coach took me out the game for some odd reason, but we didn't end up scoring. They on third and five, and I feel like he was gonna throw me this ball, but he ended up getting hit and it's incomplete. As much as I'd love to try to bait the quarterback here, I gotta learn to actually play my zone correctly. He came all the way across the field. I was way too far under to be able to make a play on this ball. They picked up a big game. Then I messed up again. Second and six, I could have got a tackle on the quarterback, but I just tripped over my teammate and they scored a touchdown. Luckily though, this game, the offense is not slacking at all. They getting in the end zone. But us as a defense this game, we have not been ourselves. I mean, we've been allowing first downs. Normally we don't really allow too much stuff, but here, Florida State offense not looking terrible. First and 10, they ran the option play. He threw the ball to the running back and I ended up getting blocked. So I wasn't able to prevent the first down, but I still prevented the touchdown. I had to chase him down. I'm guessing they saw last game that we really don't stop the run like that. Here they go, running the ball again. They scored, but he did take a hit. Offense went down the field and scored, so we got to go ahead and get a stop on first and 10. I went down there and hit Jordan Travis backfield. Ended up getting my first sack of my college career. And then they ran the ball on second and 12, and I'm getting back there because I was sent on a blitz, getting a tackle for loss. At this point, we're only up a touchdown with a minute and 40 seconds left. Third and 13, making a great tackle. We just got to get one more stop. But then, for some reason, Coach felt like it was a good idea to take me out of the game. They picked up the first down, and now... They had first and goal after picking up another first. Now look, when they got to the goal line, they ended up scoring a touchdown. But offense went down the field and got a field goal. So we won, I guess. And I got the most tackles I ever had in the game. 13 tackles, two tackles for loss, and a sack. With 7-1, ranked 19. Playing against ranked 9, 8-1 Virginia Tech. And already in this game, they've established that they finna be running the ball. But that ain't gonna come without its consequences. First and 10, they run the ball to my side, and I'm getting back there with my teammate to make the tackle. And then, they decide to run it again. I'm on a deep zone, but I stayed down here because I felt like they was gonna run it. Getting a big hit on that running back. Third and 11, we're playing amazing defense back here. And the quarterback held the ball for too long, got hit, and that ball went right to the linebacker. I don't know why he didn't pick it up. They got three and locked up by offense. I almost picked this off, but he threw that ball way underneath so I couldn't get to it. For some reason, it felt like they've been talking to me all game. They've been running the ball on my side, and here on second and 12, he threw the ball to my zone. Give me that pick, dummy. After catching that pick, we end up scoring. We up seven to three in the third quarter, and I completely missed this tackle. They gave him a huge gain, but then he ended up getting hit. He fumbled, and we got the ball. Gotta appreciate my teammates for cleaning up for me. It's mid fourth quarter, 14 to three, they're here in the red zone. Quarterback threw the ball up, and our DB should have had that pick, but he just dropped it. And then on second and goal, playing his zone. And I felt like I was there, but I wasn't. I overplayed this route completely, and he ended up being a touchdown because of me. They had no choice but to go for two points here, and they did not get it. Great defense. Now all offense has to do is hold the ball for as long as they can. They did just that. We won the game, and I got player of the game. Ten tackles, a tackle for loss, a forced fumble, and a pick. Just all over the field. All right, man. We're climbing rankings. We're up to 14 now, and Duke is nine. And already, they starting this game off running the ball, picking up a big game. And now, it just seems like we can't stop the run at all. Read option, and I almost had the quarterback, but I ended up getting blocked just barely. He picked up another big game. On third and goal, this receiver was open, but for some reason, he dropped it. I guess he heard my footsteps. Up seven to six in the second quarter, and on second and one, I'm sitting on a blitz. Quarterback threw the ball up to the middle of the field, and the DB got dunked on. But luckily, we sent a crazy blitz at him on third and 12, pushing him out of field goal range. All right, now it's a very crucial moment. Well, 14 to six with about a minute left. They have no timeouts. And then on third and 10, the quarterback decides to throw a slant instead of trying to throw the ball to like maybe an outside route or something. Yeah, fourth down and y'all got no timeouts. Then on fourth and three, he just tucked that ball up and somehow, some way, the receiver got his hands on the ball, but luckily he dropped it. So we get out of there with a dub. Steadily climbing up the rankings, we're ranked nine at nine and one and playing against Virginia who's six and four, we can't lose no games if we want a chance at the net. We're starting this game off pretty slow. I'm playing a deep zone and I try to get there to try to pick this corner right off, but I end up picking up the first. With me being such an aggressive tackler, a lot of times I miss tackles. And here, I just completely missed again, just like I did last game and the game before that, allowing a big game. Playing bend but don't break defense here on third and five. The quarterback tried to scramble. He ended up taking the hit one yard before the first down. Offense scored the touchdown with the 49 seconds they had, and then they scored a touchdown again after getting the ball at the half. On third and one, they're trying to run the ball to pick up the first, but they did a toss play, and that got stuffed behind the line. 27 to six in this game, we really showed off that great defense again like we normally do. 
and the offense was able to put up points. We need this for the rest of the season. Playing against Pittsburgh and we're in the snow. And you know, being from Miami, I'm not used to this at all. So hopefully it don't, you know, interfere with my game. Now Pittsburgh is starting this game off pretty well. Pretty good drive here, but he made a big mistake. He tested my boy Devontae Brown. He ended up catching his pick while falling out of bounds. And with that pick, we weren't able to score in the whole first quarter and not even the second. 40 seconds left in the second quarter, they're all the way down into the red zone and ended up scoring a touchdown to extend the lead. Offense finally scored. We're down three points and they made it down the field again, but I'm ending this here. While playing over the top, quarterback thought I wasn't gonna come down and play this route, but I did. Give me that pick. Now what's really frustrating is the fact that Pittsburgh is only four and seven. We're 10 and one and ranked number nine. And for some reason, offense just can't put points on the board. And all the defense we played meant nothing because offense only put seven points up the entire game and we lost. I had nine tackles and a pick that meant nothing. Now look, losing that game bumped us all the way down to 19, but we got a chance here to redeem ourselves. We're playing against the number one team in the nation, Clemson. And with the defense we got, I believe that we can win this conference championship. Second quarter, we're up 7-0 right now. We're looking pretty good. Defense is doing good. But Clemson finally gets a big play here, throwing in between the zones in our cover too. Third and 10, coach sent me on a blitz. They run all this fancy stuff, but I ain't with that. I'm getting that tackle for loss. They settle for three, and that's the third quarter. We're up 7-3. I'm coming down, laying a big hit on that running back. I'm third and two. They tried to pick up an easy little first down, throwing this out to the flats. But my teammate made a great tackle to prevent the first down. Another great defensive drive, another drive without the offense scoring. And now, 13-13, we get another stop. Hopefully, offense can get some points. And well, they didn't. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter, second and 12. I'm running man, but I end up getting switched to a zone. But I still came down on this corner route and caught this pick on the sideline. Now there's no way offense doesn't put some points on the board. And right when we got all the momentum, up 14 to three, of course, they get a kick return and then converted on a two point conversion. Like what in the world? A minute and 30 seconds left in the game. No timeouts, heaving the ball down the field and they get a miracle play. Third and 16, quarterback tried to force the ball in for the tug, but instead the DB was there and he dropped the pick. That would have been the game winning pick. And then they kicked the field goal. We went to OT. Our offense did not score. So all they had to do is throw the ball out of bounds and kick a field goal to win the conference championship. And what's really crazy is everything that they needed to happen in that game ended up happening all in the fourth quarter. And it's just like, I couldn't do nothing about it. And I played my heart out in this game. Nine tackles, two tackles for loss, and a pick. But still, we was that close to being the number one team in the nation. And now, they're going to go to the national championship. But on the brighter side of things, I end up winning multiple awards. And even though we're only getting bumped down to 22, we got the chance to win the Cheez It Bowl versus Oklahoma State. And already in the first drive, the quarterback's testing me. Give me that pick. At this point, it's not even a game anymore. We're up 21-0 in the first quarter, and that quarterback threw another pick. But if you thought that was it, man, we out here playing like we just lost in the game that we should have won against the number one team in the nation. Yeah, because it actually happened. All this game right here shows is that we need to play angry. Play like we did here every game next season. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have a chance to get to the natty. But now... We got a lot to improve on. We caught four picks as a team and just dominated in this game. Just like we should have. I ended this season off with nine picks, a sack, eight tackles for loss, and 86 tackles. And so I fell one pick short of tying Sean Taylor's record and two picks short of breaking it. But I still got two more years to try to do that. And Ed Reed's 21 picks in the career, I should definitely be able to do that too. And obviously, I ended up making the all NCAA first team as a free safety. I'm him. After having a crazy season last year, we end up being the number 10 school in the nation. And honestly, I feel like we got a great chance to get into the natty this year. And to be honest, the reason why we didn't get as high as we could have and we lost a couple games last year due to our offense being pretty mid. But this year, I feel like we got a couple transfers that's going to help out with that a lot. And luckily, we end up keeping a good amount of players from last year's defense even after the transfer portal. And right now, the defense is still looking pretty good. Third and five, quarterback can't find nobody to throw the ball to. So he tries to get to the sideline and it is incomplete. Luckily, they were too far away to make the field goal. Offense ended up getting locked up. The quarterback trying to scramble out to the right side and them boys is getting to him. Right before he was able to get out, he ended up getting sacked. After taking a little check down, it's third and nine. 
Quarterback throws it to an out route, he ends up getting tackled two yards short of the first down. That's another stop. Offense scored. This is their last drive of the first half, and on first and 10, Noah Kim throws his ball deep down the field, and our DB was lost. He ended up getting his tackle broken, but I had to get there to make the play to prevent that touchdown. Though it didn't matter because I ended up having to get taken out the game, they scored, but luckily, offense scored too. So coming into the second half, is a tie game. We're trying our hardest to go ahead and get this stop to go ahead and try to take the lead on second and 11, since a mean blitz at them boys. Gotta say. Third 15, everything was just locked up. Secondary playing amazing. Lil' Kim tried to scramble, hence getting hit right before he was able to get gone. Man, I ain't gonna lie, our pass rush might have got a little bit better from last year. Second down, he's trying to scramble, but them boys is shedding. And then for some odd reason, I don't understand why they did this. Third and 12, they're running the ball? Like, come on now. But they did end up getting a stop right back. Third and two, and Noah Kim is able to get out that pocket, pick up the first down. We got them to third and 10. And when I tell y'all, the secondary has been playing amazing. He has to scramble out again, but this time he ended up getting hit, fumbled, and we picking this ball up. Offense, please take the lead now. And well, so far in this game, it's already looking like the problem that we had last year is showing up again. But still, play after play, defensive possession after defensive possession, we are locking up. Well, up until on fourth and seven, where he threw this dot, and I don't even know what route this was, but they end up picking this up. First and 15 after taking a false start, throwing his ball to his receiver, and I'm coming down with bad intentions, trying to make him fumble, but he held on to that ball. And then on second and five, the quarterback decides, let me go ahead and scramble. I see this, and I head straight to that man. His stick in him, and he did not let that ball go. First and goal now, the best we could do now is just to force him to kick a field goal. He's trying to scramble. He almost got past me, but I just barely made the tackle. And well, I ended up getting taken out of the game. They scored a touchdown, but our offense did too. So now, we're going to OT. And in a game like this, in OT, yo, big players got to make big plays. And I did not do that. Completely missed that running back trying to be aggressive and hit stick. And he picked up the first down. And then on third and four, Noah Kim sits back in the pocket. Patiently waiting, steps up, and delivers his dot for the touchdown. Hopefully, offense can respond. And offense, well, they did more than that. They scored a touchdown, and they went for two and won the game. And me, I ain't get no pick, but I was all around the field making tackles, doing my thing. I did miss a couple, but hey, I made a lot of them. I'm playing against an on one Pittsburgh team that we know we should definitely be able to beat on first and 10. They're picking up this first down, and honestly, they've been marching up the field a little bit. But then on second and nine, I'm in a deep zone, but I decided to go ahead and come out of my zone to catch this pick. After catching my first pick of the season, offense was able to get down the field and kick a field goal. We got them third and four. He's throwing this ball up with two defenders in the vicinity, and that honestly should have been picked off. Offense failed to score, but we got them to third down once again. Quarterback trying to scramble out to the right side, but that pass rush got to him. And now look, might be a little overreaction, but through these two games, well, one game and a half, offense has been very mid, kind of like last season. All the stats we're getting don't seem like they're doing too much. We still got three points right now, and we got to try to prevent them from scoring a touchdown before half. Playing great defense once again. Third and five, I'm playing the deep zone, and I see this slant coming across the field. I could have had this pick, but me and my teammate basically fought over it, and none of us caught it. Second half now, a very, very defensive game. Still 3-0. to zero. The quarterback's scrambling, but there's going to be consequences to doing that. He's taking a hit stick. He ain't fumbled though. Third and five, the quarterback dropped back in the pocket and delivered this dot right over that DB's head to pick up the first down. We're trying our hardest to try to force a turnover. Running backs running the ball, he ended up getting hit. He fumbled the ball, but an offensive player fell on it. Got them to third down again, third and six. They're doing all this special motion stuff just to get stopped. Quarterback ended up getting sacked. It's about time offense got some points. Well, they got three, and I ain't gonna lie, this is when the problem happens, because all the stops we've been getting all game have equated to just six points, and now they're in scoring range to go ahead and take the lead. But if it's one thing this defense do, we stand on business. Playing Ben but don't break, allowing this little route to get to fourth down. They decided to go for it on fourth down, and that was a big mistake. They ran the ball, and we're getting back there making a great tackle. But this game's not over. Because once again, just like throughout the game, offense has been struggling. They have a minute to go ahead and try to get a touchdown to win the game. And us, as a defense, we got to make sure we do what we've been doing all game and lock up. And so far, that's exactly what we're doing. Second and 17, amazing defense from the secondary. And finally, the pass rush got to him. Picking up another set. I never understand why they did this, but on third and 25, they ran the ball. And so that forced them on fourth and 25 to go for a deep shot. Trying to throw this ball down the field, and of course, it's picked off. And we win this game, but just barely. There's no reason why we should have just barely won this game, I ain't gonna lie. To be honest, it's kind of crazy. We're ranked number 7, 2-0, but really, it's due to our defense being good. Nothing to do with our offense at all, because so far... They haven't really been doing anything. And I'm be honest, as a defense, we're trying not to, you know what I'm saying, put too much weight or pressure on the offense. 
you know, we don't want to make them mad at us or nothing like that. But at the same time, they just need to understand that they need to, you know what I'm saying, get better because we are here putting in pain. And as good as our defense is and has been playing these past couple of weeks, I feel like personally, the offense is going to have to hold their weight, especially if our goal is to win the national championship and become the number one team in the nation. Like, we're going to need an offense to, you know what I'm saying, be better. And after the crazy season I had last year, coach gave me the team captain role. It's on me to make sure everything's in order and to lead by example. So I've been doing my best to try to do that. And I'm out here trying to make big hits and big plays to make sure that that energy is felt on offense and defense. And in this game against Nebraska, so far, the offense is actually doing the job. We're up 17 to 7. And y'all know us as a defense, we're going to lock in. Should have been picked off, I ain't going to lie. It's now the start of the fourth quarter on third and 13. The quarterback tried to force that ball into the slant, and there's too many people there. He dropped that ball. With no choice but to go for it here on fourth and 13, my receiver ended up taking a little drag route, taking me away from the wide open corner route that was allowed for the first down. And then on second and 11, as soon as his quarterback hiked the ball, got sacked instantly. On third and 14, they almost picked up this first down, but as soon as his receiver caught the ball, I knocked the wind out that boy, one yard short of the first. But then on fourth and one, instead of just going for the little one yard, quarterback threw this ball to a corner route and almost scored the touchdown. They end up scoring and uh, offense is kind of going back to where they was at before. It's a minute and 30 seconds left, third down, and we're forcing the fourth down. The offense wasn't able to score. It's a three point game. It's on us to make sure they don't get down the field at all or even get a field goal. And the quarterback was able to scramble and pick up the first down. If we were lock up at any moment, it would need to be right now. And that's exactly what we do. And the quarterback takes a big hit in the backfield. And now on fourth down, this is when your big players is going to make the big play. Playing a deep zone, I saw the slant and I came right down on that and caught that pick. And I could have had a six, but yeah, my vision uh, needs a little work. Don't matter, we won. And now, on the backs of our defense, we are steadily climbing the ranks. Number five now playing against three and one unranked Wake Forest. We better not lose this game. Already, we locking up. Third and 14, bro taking a check down. I'm coming down, making a tackle, fourth down. We're off to a pretty good start now. Offense scored, and on second and three, as soon as they hand that ball off to the running back, tackle. At the end of the day, good defense ain't good defense until you lock up the entire drive. We locked up up until third and seven, where this receiver was wide open. That was too easy. On the outside of the field now, third and two, they running the ball, and that's not going to happen. Preventing the first down one yard short. Surprisingly, they end up going for the field goal. They missed it. And now, offense scored again, so we're up two scores. And at this point, all that momentum is on our side. Third and 13, trying to get this to the corner route, and it should have been picked off. He just dropped it. When we went back on the bench, I told him. I'm going to show you how to catch pick next drive. And I did just that. On third and four, deep zone, just baited up a little bit and ended up catching me a pick. Give me that. Like I said at the beginning of the game, this is a game that we definitely should easily be able to win. Dominating this game offensively and defensively. Luckily, the offense is starting to find itself a little bit. Hopefully, they keep this going throughout the season. But just when we got a little bit comfortable, this game is not over. It's 21-3, to 3 and on 3rd and 5, I completely missed this hit stick, which allowed them to go ahead and score a touchdown. A big mistake by me, being extra aggressive, trying to get hit sticks. Sometimes, you just got to make the conservative tackle. And now, with this being a 10-point lead, they have a chance. And I almost took the chance away, but I was one second short of getting that pick. Why teams decide to run the ball on 3rd down on us, I will never understand. It's an immediate tackle behind the line of scrimmage. At that point, just tells me they they lost this game. Fifth game of the season, planning is a one in three Virginia, and I'm already starting this game off showing what I'm on. I'm head hunting. They're trying to run the ball on second and six, and the running back end up tripping up. He's lucky because I was finna knock his head off his body. And then after trying to force run the ball, they're finally passing, and you know that didn't work out at all. End up losing yards, getting sacked for seven. Offense end up getting stopped. But look, Virginia is not going to move the ball if they keep on trying to run like this. Another tackle for loss. Third and 18, they have no choice but to pass the ball here. Throwing the ball to a curl route and oh man, what a hit. I love it. We're up 10-0 in the second half. Whole team starting to feel the energy. Quarterback took this ball, scrambled up the pocket, pick up the first down. But boy, ooh wee. To be honest, I'm just surprised that quarterback's still out there. Hand the ball off to that receiver and he's getting it too. The amount of hits I got in this game was all I could ever ask for. I literally came to college and I love football for doing this right here. Just knocking heads off people's shoulders. It's just sometimes it's hard to do that when I'm playing over the top. And then it's like I'm gambling trying to get down there and make a tackle or prevent a first down. But then if they see see me coming down, they'll throw the ball over the top and it's an easy touch. But all right, they're in the red zone now. We're only up 10 points in the fourth quarter just started. And they starting this fourth 
quarter off with a dot to the sideline to get first and goal. But they did all this just for on third and goal to take a check down, get tackled, and now they're probably going to settle for the field goal. Or I guess not. They're going for the touchdown and on fourth and goal, I have this whole zone and me being dumb, I let him get behind me and allow the touchdown. Now look, after giving them the only points that they had, I got to make sure I don't mess up at all anymore on third down, getting a big hit on him to permit that first down and because I was a little mad. But me being mad ain't going to do nothing because on third and 11, I got a deep zone and look, I did it again. I let him get behind me. He beat the DB, but he also beat me because I was supposed to be there to help the DB in case he got beat. And now they're down the field in position to try to score. Now they may be in position to score, but we know that they do not have a good kicker to make a field goal from this far. So all we got to do is keep on making the right tackles. And here, great tackle. Now on third and nine, the quarterback is going to go ahead and scramble out to the right side. And again, an amazing tackle, amazing block sheds. And now they're going to go for the field goal. We know they ain't making this. And of course, just as we thought, they didn't make the field goal. It was way too far. Luckily, we got out there with a dub, despite the two big plays I allowed. And now after winning that game, we're ranked number three in the nation. 5-0, playing against another big Florida school, FSU. And already, we're bringing the energy. We're bringing the great defense just as we do every game. Third and one, amazing defense, preventing the first. Offense didn't score, but they did do a good job of putting them in a coffin. And that made their quarterback feel like he had to force the ball in. And me, I came down and took advantage of that. Give me that pick. And now with that pick putting them in an amazing scoring position, there was no way they didn't come out of there with a touchdown. We're up 10-0. One thing I realized, just through the first quarter, they have a very basic offense. They keep running slants, and it's just not working right now for them at all. On the next drive, first and 10, they try to run a little receiver screen, but my boy Daryl Porter came down amazing play. Caught that pick, broke a tackle, and took that thing for six. We're just straight dominating these boys right now. Up 17-0, and I'm coming down, laying a boom on that quarterback. And as we beating up on these boys in the first half, it's starting to make a lot of sense. You know, Jordan Travis ain't on the team no more. So we're going to enjoy this whooping. It's the third quarter, still up 17-0, but it's not over yet. And the quarterback ended up breaking off a huge run, getting into field goal range. They're trying to run a little extra option play, threw that to the running back, I'm smacking them in the backfield. And then on third and goal, they decided to run the ball. And y'all know that never works out. But yeah, we came in this game, we conquered, and honestly, this should have been a pick, but hey, game's over. They're all the way out of it. And I was doing a little bit of everything in this game. Seven tackles, three tackles for loss, a sack, and a pick. Now look, when I tell y'all the defense that we've been playing and the offense been doing a lot better than they normally have. So, so far it's looking like this season's going to be pretty good. We're 6-0, ranked number three. You know, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Got them to second 19. They decided to run the ball up the middle. And luckily I was able to get there before he can get jigged. On third and 11, the quarterback was looking to the right side. But what I didn't see is that on the left side was a wide open receiver picking up that first down. Sometimes me being extra aggressive just messes up my opportunity to make plays. If I was a little patient, I could have waited for that ball to bounce out and catch that pick. Then on third and eight, the quarterback threw a slant. They almost picked up this first down, but that DB did a great job at securing this tackle. Up 10 points now after they missed the field goal, and on first and 10, this receiver caught the ball. But before he was able to even look forward, he was met with the Reaper. And then on third and 11, QB tried to connect with his receiver on his comeback route, but this ball went out of bounds. About two minutes left in the first half. After they got a stop, they was able to pick up this first down, and now they're passing 20. On third and 12, I'm playing a flat, but I saw this receiver coming across the middle. I tried to get there in time, but I was not able to. He still picked up the first. And then on first and goal, their O-line gave them enough time to where this quarterback could wait for this receiver to get open, little playmaker to the outside, scoring a touchdown. Luckily, offense scored coming out the second half, but on third and seven, I made a big mistake. I'm supposed to be playing a whole half, and I did not see that receiver run right behind me. Touchdown, because of me. And now, they got a chance to go ahead and take the lead. It's a three-point game, and on second and six, it's a great tackle from the D-line. One thing I've been realizing these past couple weeks, I've been making bad plays. Like, every once in a while... I mess up. I just got to tighten up. And with me being the team captain, I got to lead by example. Do better next time. But one thing I love about this defense is even if you mess up, the rest of the players on this defense, they going to lock in. We make up for each other's mistakes. And now, while up 10 points with about a minute and a half left in the game on first and 10, the ball thrown up, my boy Jay Richard came down with that pick to go ahead and end this game. And yeah, this is probably one of my worst games of my career so far, but 
we still came out with the dub. So far, about halfway through the season, we're undefeated, ranked number two in the country, playing against a team that hasn't won a game yet. So yeah, this game should be a blowout. And already in this game, this quarterback's giving me an opportunity to catch a pick. On third down, I'm playing a deep half, but I waited for him to throw this ball just for me to get there and drop the pick. Stuff like that, and guard my deep zones correctly are things I'm gonna have to work on if I wanna be able to get to the NFL. So far, it just seems like I'm a head hunting safety that if my baiting does right, I end up catching the pick. But if it doesn't, then I end up allowing a big game. But if there's one thing this defense does is we play so well as a team. Anything I do bad, my teammates cover up for it. Anything they do bad, I cover up for it. That's just the way we roll. All right, now it's the second half. We're up 20 to seven, and at this point, they offense really can't move at all. And this was exactly how we expected this game to go. I mean, honestly, we kind of expect to have a little bit more points, but at the end of the day, a dub is a dub. All right, now after playing against a defeated team, we stay undefeated, and now we're playing against the University of North Texas, and they're ranked number eight in the nation. So we got to make sure that we lock in this game and we don't make too many mistakes, because this is a team that could mess around and beat us. So far, it's not looking too good for them. We're up 14-0 in the first quarter and on second and 13. I tried to get there to make a play on the sideline, but that ball got there too fast. I was one second late. They're trying to run the ball on second and four, but I'm getting back there, tackling for a loss of one yard. And then on third and five, I got a deep zone, but I'm trying to make a play. I came down on this slant trying to catch a pick, but the receiver jumped in front of the ball and dropped it. All right, so they missed the field goal. Offense got locked up, so we're still up 14 to zero right now. About two minutes left in the second quarter. On second and six, I completely got too aggressive. Quarterback got a whole lot of yards off of this play. Luckily, someone caught him before he scored the touchdown, but they in scoring range. Running the ball up the middle on second and 10, and this running back had pretty good ball carry vision. He ended up finding a way to get this first down. They end up settling for the field goal, locking our offense up again. They got 45 seconds left to go ahead and put some more points on the board before the second half. And then on second and 10, the quarterback tried to force this ball in. Two defenders there. Somebody should have picked this ball off. I don't care. And because we gave them an extra chance, on third and 10, the quarterback found his receiver on the C route who caught this ball picking up the first down. They got no timeouts though, so they got to hurry up. Now at this point, they're in scoring range. We got to make a play. And me, I'm going to do that. I'm playing the middle third, and I saw this streak coming into my zone. I wait for him to throw that, and I'm getting a nasty one-hand pick. Give me that. Now, we didn't get no points after that pick, but that did prevent them from getting three. So it's 14 to three coming into the second half. And on the first drive, we're locking up third and six. He's trying to get this ball to his running back, but there's a defender right there swatting that thing down. He really should have picked that off. After getting that stop, offense went down the field, scored a touchdown. We're 21 to three, and we're getting another stop. Third and 11, picking up a sack. Now, offense ain't score off of that, but still, Coming out here again on defense, getting another stop. A big pick on the sideline to end the game. After getting that big win, we are now the number one ranked school in the nation. And in this game, it gets ranked number 25 Duke. They're already starting off this game, driving down the field. I'm getting back there showing them what I'm on on that screenplay. Now on third and 13, the quarterback throws the ball. He thought he had the DB beat, but my boy Daryl Porter Jr. catches this pick. And what we thought was a house call was called back. Clipping by my boy Jay Rich. And so, that touchdown that we thought we had was erased. And now, Duke got the ball after getting a stop on the offense, and they're down the field again. Second and six, I'm waiting for something to come across the middle. It does. He throws it to him. He ends up catching the ball. I tried to get a hit on him, knock the ball out. Couldn't do it. Then on first and goal, the quarterback uses his legs on a read option. Threw our defender to the ground, and ended up scoring a touchdown. Well, now we're down 6-0 to zero in the second quarter as offense ended up getting locked up, and they end up missing an extra point. First and 10, great defense being played by the secondary. The pass rush took a little bit too long to get to him, but just barely got him. He ended up tripping up, falling behind the line of scrimmage 10 yards. But they end up getting about 15 yards back on second and 20 on this L route. I'm going to flats on this third and five, and I was hoping he was going to throw this screen, but instead, he threw it up, and our DB just got mossed. I'm covering the flats again. I'm trying my hardest to try to break this route, but instead, I ended up coming off a little bit too far. He caught the ball and then got right past me to pick up the first down. And then just to end the drive off, we're running the ball right up the middle to score a touchdown, extending the lead. It wasn't looking too good for us, but offense ended up scoring, and with about 30 seconds left in the first half, the quarterback just threw a pick to the sideline. Amazing play. And now, in the second half, the momentum done switched. We're up one point now, and we're getting a big tackle for loss. The QB must be a little nervous, because on third and 13, I don't know who he was trying to throw this ball to, but it might have slipped out of his hands. 
We might be winning in this game, but still, Duke's defense is doing a pretty good job on our offense right now. All we got to do as a defense is keep on doing what they do in our offense. And on third and 11, we almost had a big play. That would have shifted the momentum crazy, but instead, he dropped the pick. But then again, just as been happening all game, we locked them up, and then they locked us up too. So now, we got to try to get another stop. Third and four, right when we thought we had everything locked up, running back comes out the backfield, stands at the first down line, and catches it picks up the first it's only 30 seconds left in this game third and two and we got to find a way to push them back and we do just that pushing them back three yards so they tried to go for a field goal luckily we pushed them back far enough to where they missed it so we just barely get out of here with a dub and stay undefeated it's our 11th game of the season and we got unc but the thing is drake may is no longer on this team so this should be an easy win to be honest second and five the quarterback's already throwing into my zone my boy got beat on that corner route and i tried to get there in time but i was just one second late they done had a good drive, but here on first and 10, it's finally time to take this away. Linebacker standing right there, and he threw it right to him. And of course, just like normal, offense gave the ball right back. They actually threw a turnover, and now we got to lock up again. On third and 14, they went back to the play that worked last drive. They got a corner route, beat my boy off that corner route, and of course, I wasn't there to help him. They're trying to run the ball to pick up this one yard on second and one, but got tackled immediately. And on third and four, amazing man coverage from these DBs. QB had to hold the ball on for too long and ended up getting sacked. Finally, this time offense ended up scoring on third and three. A little out route. He caught this ball at the first down, but he ran backwards. So fourth inches. Now they actually ended up punting the ball on fourth and inches, and they ended up getting the ball right back after our offense threw a turnover. So now with less than a minute left in the first half, we got to try our best to try to stop them from getting any points third and eight, and they end up picking up the first down. They drew up a pretty good play for the defense that we was in on this play. I had to help my boy on this corner route and they end up being a wide open slant in the middle of the field and now you can say they're probably in field goal range but at this point we gotta try to push them back and make sure that they don't get any closer we're doing a good job of that and with time coming down on second to 18 trying to tackle him in bounds but he ended up getting out of bounds with one second left and so they were able to kick the field goal. We're winning 7-3 in the second half. I'm coming down, laying a boom on that quarterback. On second and six, that edge pressure got crazy. As soon as he hiked the ball, them boys was after him, getting the big sack. And then on third and 14, that quarterback felt like he had to force something in. So he did. Two defenders around there, and no one caught the pick, but at least it was deflected. They got to punt the ball. Another failed offensive drive. They got the ball now, first and 10, and the quarterback tried to use his legs. Tried to scramble, ended up getting hit. He fumbled and we picked the ball up. Offense, go get some points this time. And they did just that. That score right there could be what we needed to go ahead and win this game. Up 14 to three now with about three minutes and a half left in this game. Very, very great defense has been played during this defensive drive. But all that, just to give up this slant to pick up the first down. But then on first and 10, we finally get a big play. Pass rush getting there with a blitz. Quarterback ran to the left side, throwing it right. And my boy Daryl Porter Jr. came down with that pick. Basically ending the game. I ain't gonna lie, me, after seeing what he just did catching that pick, I want me one too. I'm baiting up and I'm coming down on this flat, picking this ball off and taking this thing for six. All right, now we're hoping to continue our undefeated streak here against Virginia Tech at their crib. And this is the last game of the regular season, so we got to make sure we lock in. Especially when plays like this can happen at any given moment. They're running the ball, pretty good blocking, and the running back ends up getting into the red zone. We got him to third and five. We just got to play bend but don't break. Quarterback finds a receiver wide open, picked up the first down, and almost had the tug. And wish they actually end up scoring after coach took me out of the game for some odd reason. Offense got locked up, and now we got to make sure that we don't let them get two-score lead because that momentum would be dangerous, especially when they at home. Third and 11, they throw us off with a little receiver screen. And the blocking was so good, they almost end up getting the first down. But luckily, we stopped them from doing it one yard short. And luckily, they end up missing the field goal. Offense went down the field, got a field goal of their own, and now we're down 7-3. On second and eight, our whole defense was just broken down. A wide open receiver in between our zone. I don't know how that happened. But we got them to a third and 11. And here, they tried to do a running back screen, and they end up getting blown up. Amazing play by that linebacker. But man, it's crazy. We get all these stops and we still got three points right now in the second half. Offense needs to do something. On third and 15, while playing a deep zone, I had to come down on this slant to make sure that they didn't get this first down. Hit sticking that boy. It's about time. Offense scored a touchdown. Now we got the lead, but they got the ball on the outside of the field. We got to make sure they don't get in field goal range at all. Second and four, running the ball. And I'm getting back there, getting a big hit on that running back. Third and four, I don't know what they were trying to do. Maybe a screen, but it didn't work at all. Great defense. And now on fourth and four, getting a stop here could be big. It could give offense a chance to go ahead and extend his lead. But they had enough time for a receiver to get open off a playmaker and the quarterback to hit him for the first down. 
Got them to third down again. Third and seven, they're doing another running back screen. And luckily, we end up getting there before he was able to get this first down. It's fourth and two. And so, they kicked the field goal. Smart choice by them, but offense went down the field and scored a touchdown. Thank you, offense. Because now, the fate of this game will be on if our defense can get a stop. And us, we know that we can do that. Third and 11, quarterback don't got too many choices. He throws this ball while getting hit, and we're getting a tackle forcing the fourth down. And then, on fourth and four, the quarterback had a receiver. He threw it to him, but the receiver just dropped the ball. No chance at all. That's tough. Game over. And in this game, I had a good nine tackles, but it's time to lock in. We got the conference championship. Conference championship timing already. This quarterback is trying me. I almost end up coming down with this pick, but I just had to drop it. After dropping that pick, I really need one. Playing a flats and I just barely got there a little bit too late. Still forcing incompletion. I'm really trying to bait up in this flat here on third and 10. He doesn't throw it to my side, but he threw it to the other side and he's out of bounds. It's four down. Second quarter now, Syracuse got the ball back. We're still up seven to zero. And this play was just amazing. They had a streak going down the middle of the field with no zones there. Might've been my fault, I don't know. On first down, they getting a little aggressive. Multiple orange jerseys down the field in the end zone. He still threw it in there. Should have been picked off. They tried to run a little RB screen play on third and two, but that didn't work at all. The linebacker met with the runner back and knocked his head off his body. And well, they end up going for it. They didn't get it. Offense had a chance to get down the field. Didn't do that. They turned the ball over and now Syracuse is over here at the red zone already. And the quarterback uses his legs to score the touchdown. Offense got a field goal before half. We got 20 seconds left and the quarterback ended up throwing a pick. So now we could probably get another field goal, maybe. We did not get that field goal, but offense did score in the first drive at the halftime. And now look, this might not be smart, but I'm playing the deep zone, and I see that there's a receiver standing right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this pick. Give me that. And we taking this thing for six. And from that, that game just started going downhill. Second and three, they're trying to run the ball at the middle, and bro ended up fumbling. We picked this ball up, and I did a great job of shielding him for him to take that thing to the crib. But wait, there's more. We're in the red zone. I'm playing this deep half, and I waited for him to run this corner. I knew what it was. I'm catching the pick on the sideline. There go two. And with that, we end up winning the ACC Conference Championship. But now, we got bigger things to worry about. The National Championship. And yeah, man, getting all these personal awards, it's cool. Won these last year, and I'm winning them again this year. But uh, something I didn't get last year was the National Championship. And I'm looking forward to it this time. Let's ball out. And now, we're in the national championship. And to our surprise, we're playing against Texas A&M, the number three ranked team in the nation at 11 and two. But really, it don't matter what team we're playing against, we gotta come out here with the same defensive intensity that we always come out here with. And already, we're starting off pretty good. Third and nine, he's throwing this ball to a curl route, wasn't able to pick up the first down. If any game we need the offense to score, it'll be this one. And luckily, that's what they're doing. We're up 10 to zero right now, and they quarterback ended up using his legs. Broke a couple tackles and picked up the first down. On first and 10, the quarterback tried to use his legs again, cause that pass rush almost got to him. But still, he ended up getting sacked. Now look, I know coaches normally don't like this. I'm playing a deep half, but I knew what route he was running. I tried to come down and pick that thing off. Luckily, 20 broke it up. Third, 13, all we gotta do is make sure they don't pick up this first down. But that pass rush, oh man, they on one right now. Big sack. Offense got locked up, but there's only 20 seconds left in the first half. QB tried to use his legs, but he made one mistake. He should've went down when he seen me coming. Knocked his head off his body, and the ball came out too. It's the second half. We're only up 10 to zero right now, but it's looking pretty good, cause our defense is locking up. On third and nine, they almost end up picking up this first down, but I had to come in and make this tackle. Hitting them out of bounds. Again, offense is locked up, but they got the ball again, third and four, and they almost picked up the first down. But I got there getting a big hit. All right, now at this point, I don't know what's going on with offense. Tam, you, they end up missing the field goal, but then they got the ball back on outside of the field again. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. They running the ball this time, picking up the first down. And I mean, at one point, we was locking up, but now we starting to get a little tired. Offense isn't moving the ball at all, and we still got 10 points. It's kind of hard to continuously lock up when offense ain't putting nothing on the board. And with it only being 10 to zero, they still got a chance to win this game. Threw a dot to the middle of the field, score a touchdown. But that touchdown wasn't just any touchdown. It set a new school record for TAMU. We cannot lose this game after that boy just broke a record. Offense actually scored a touchdown, so we're up 10 points with two minutes left. Now look, I'm playing a deep half, but I don't care. I see this out route and I know he gonna throw it to him. I'm coming down to catch this pick. Give me that. And yeah, at this point, game's over. 24 to seven, but he tried to throw this ball over my head. I'ma need that pick. Give me that. That's two picks in this game. And so, from all the work we put in through the season, we ended up winning the national championship. There we go. And not only that, I ended up winning player of the game. Come on now.
And I mean, man, what a season. 10 picks, 2 sacks, 8 tackles for loss, and 91 tackles. And so with this season, I end up tying Sean Taylor's record with 10. And it looks like next season, I'll be breaking Ed Reed's record. Because as you can see, I got 19. And his record is 21. What a sophomore season. Man, after winning the national championship last season, we was all hype, all lit, all summer. And honestly, we might have been too lit, because that's obviously, you know what I'm saying, we did put in some work, spring training and stuff like that, but uh, we definitely didn't do what we were supposed to do over the summer. And that can definitely kill us, especially in a game here against Toledo, a team that could possibly beat us, though they shouldn't. But here, on their first drive, they done marched all the way down the field and on third and three. Quarterback used his legs and got into the end zone. And now look, I'm gonna be honest, the transfer portal didn't really do us too good. I mean, you know, we did win the national championship, but a good amount of us were seniors, so end up going to the NFL draft. And not only that, surprisingly, we didn't really get any transfers that were like, you know, noteworthy. So defensively, we definitely took a little step down. And so with all the changes being made, especially to our defense, we're gonna need to build up that chemistry like we had last year. And that's gonna take some time. But luckily, two players that still on this team is my boy Jay Rich and my boy Daryl Porter Jr. But I mean, already in this game, my boy Jay Rich has allowed a couple big plays. Along with this one on third and 14, where the quarterback literally just heaved his ball up, just believing in his receiver to catch it, and Jay Rich would know where to be found. On third and six, the quarterback ended up targeting our freshman cornerback, who got killed allowing that first down. And we might have a newer, younger D-line, but still, they getting back to making big plays on runs. But we did all that just for on third and seven. Our other safety gets killed on the zig route and end up picking up the first down. Coach took me out. They end up scoring at the goal line. And not only that, they got the ball back. Quarterback couldn't find nothing he wanted to throw the ball to, so he used his legs. I tried to hit stick him, wasn't able to get a good angle on him. I mean, at this point, it's not looking too good. If they get points before half, I'm pretty sure they get the ball back. I tried to get down there, got a little too aggressive, and I'm missing the hit stick. Now, I don't know who this quarterback is feeling like, but he might be Lamar Jackson. The amount of times he done used his legs, picking up another first. Now, at this point, all we could try to do is try to push them back so that they can't kick a field goal. And luckily, that D-line got back there picking up the sack. So, like I said, it's a great thing that we did not allow them to get any points before half because now they got the ball back and we just keep on allowing first downs. We got to stop. We got to lock in. While I'm over here talking about we, I need to be talking about myself. Running back coming at me with the ball and I took a terrible angle, completely missed my hit stick. Now, we got on the third and four, another opportunity to prevent the first down. And crazy enough, a receiver ended up getting open, but he dropped the ball. Crazy. So yeah, it's not looking good for us at all. We're down 10 points as offense getting the ball back and they're in scoring position. And I mean, at this point, they're this close. We might as well try to just go ahead and make them kick the field goal instead of getting the touchdown. But wide open again, picking up the first down. Third down again. I'm trying to make a big play. I'm playing in the middle of the field. And as soon as this receiver came down, I tried to get there to get the ball, but the ball got there before I did. And yeah, I prevented the touchdown, but they're finna get a field goal. Offense finally scored, but we're down six points now. We need a big stop. I'm coming from the other side of the field to lay the boom on this quarterback. I needed that fumble though. They're trying to burn all the clock they possibly can. Second and two, amazing play in the backfield, getting that tackle for loss. Another third down situation. A time where we really need a stop right here. Three defensive players there, and he still finds a way to get that first down. That is crazy. And so, with no timeouts left, about two minutes left in this game, Best we could do is try to force a turnover on the run. But when this is happening, they run the ball like that, we ain't winning this game. We are as desperate as we possibly can be right now. Everybody trying to hit stick, and it happened. We end up forcing a fumble. And now, it's on the offense to get down the field and score a touchdown that could possibly win this game. A minute and a half left with no timeouts. Can they do it? And well, if you're wondering, no. We lost. Well, after losing the first game of the season, it's just like everything that we've been doing in the offseason or not been doing came to bite us. And especially knowing that that's a game that we should definitely be able to win easily. We're coming into this game against San Jose State playing angry. Because, yeah, we're used to the offense, you know, messing up a couple times like they did last season and the season before that. But the defense, we ain't supposed to allow big plays like we did. And we lost because of it. And to be honest, losing that game right there might have been the best thing that happened to us. Because now, we're all the way locked in. Before... I don't know what we was thinking, but losing that game definitely put us in our place. Cause now the only way we can go back to back national championships is if we don't lose a single game after this. And we gotta be really locked in to do that. And to be honest, it don't matter what the offense does. As long as we're creating turnovers, like here on this first and 10, the running back got the ball, tried to truck one of our defenders, but he ended up losing the ball in the process. And we took that thing for six. Man, it just sucks for San Jose State that they gotta play against a University of Miami team or defense that is angry. And we ain't holding nothing back. It was almost like every single time they run the ball, we was getting back there, laying big hits on that running back. 
And honestly, you could probably say they might as well just punt the ball on third downs because they wouldn't get none of those conversions, not on us. But you know, the same problem we've been having for a couple years, the offense still can't score, even against this team. And on second and 13, my boy Jay Rich just dropped the pick. Third and 13, them boys almost came out with this first down. They had double slants coming across the field and this receiver was fighting for that. He fell one yard short though. And well, they end up missing the field goal. First and 10, they're running a screen play and I love these because I get back there, juke out the lineman and hit that running back in the backfield. One of their best ways of getting down the field is running the ball with their quarterback. The quarterback needs to be careful though, because I ain't the only one that's going to come downhill and hit stick. They realized their normal offense wasn't really working, so they've been trying to incorporate a couple receiver screens, running back screens, but yeah, man, that just, just ain't working. Offense scores, so we are 21-3, and after taking a the sack, they end up taking another sack. Third and 21 now. I'm not going to lie to you. Basically, every single player this drive has been a sack. We pick up another sack, making it fourth and 26. So yeah, after losing the first game of the season, we had to come out here and, uh, you know, take out our anger. Third game of the season, we're playing against Nebraska, and we coming in this game already knowing they finna put up a pretty good fight. And I mean, already, they're already starting to dismantle our defense, dotting us up the field, and now they're in the red zone. And in this game, if offense isn't able to score, we might be in some trouble. But y'all know how this defense is. We love to create turnovers. When this quarterback tried to scramble, he ended up getting tackled. And while getting tackled, that ball just fell right out of his hands. And we picked it up. And well, it ain't matter what field position we gave the offense, they still couldn't even get three points, bro. And then just to make matters even worse, third and six. We thought we had them, but the quarterback threw this ball deep down the field. And out of all people, my boy Jay Rich allowed this big play. And now that they're basically in the red zone, we got to try to bend but don't break. Quarterback try to scramble. Great play by that DN. Third and six. I'm playing a flat. I'm trying my hardest to try to bait up. I want him to throw this ball so bad, but instead he tries to use his legs and I'm getting hit so they can kick the field goal. It's the second half, and we're still scoreless, down 10 to zero. Second and 11, they decided to run a read option, and it worked. And you know me, I got a little bit way too aggressive. And because of that, I end up allowing him to pick up that big game. They're running the ball here on second and seven, and that running back ain't going nowhere. Now look, I don't know if this is my fault or not. I'm supposed to be guarding the flats. So I did, I tried to bait up, but the quarterback ended up playing maker and the receiver up the field. I mean, is that my fault? It's been three games and I haven't caught a pick yet. I'm trying my best to try to get to the other side and try to pick this off, but tight ended up dropping the ball anyway. Third and 10, and we're running mad coverage. I'm guarding his tight end on his drag route, and this quarterback almost made this crazy pass. Luckily, it's raining. It was incomplete. But they're out of field goal range, so they decided to go for it on fourth down, and with a wide open receiver on his air route to the sideline, he overthrew it. Good business. All right, now at this point, it's starting to get a little irritating. We're still down 10 to 0 right now. And we've been fighting our hard outs on defense. And look, at this point, if someone don't make a play, it's going to be bad business. While covering the middle deep zone, I saw a receiver coming across the field. I decided to go over there and catch one of the craziest one-hand picks you've ever seen. Give me that. Luckily, offense ended up scoring off that pick, because now it's the fourth quarter and it's crunch time, and them boys is fighting up the field. On first and 10, they decided to run the ball to my side, and I'm getting back there getting a tackle for loss, knocking that running back head off his body. It's third and 10, and for some reason, they decided to run the ball. I guess they was trying to go ahead and settle for the field goal, I guess. Well, they actually ended up missing the field goal. Offense scored a touchdown, so now we're up four points in defense. We got to lock in. We got to make sure they do not get down the field to score a touchdown. Me personally, I wouldn't win it any other way. First and 10, and the quarterback ended up testing my boy Jay Rich. Now look, in the first game of the season, he did mess up. But in here, catching the pick to win the game. Well, that's what we thought. They got one second left to go ahead and try to get a touchdown. Throwing this ball up, all of us over here, and I tried to get this ball. It was tipped all around. Couldn't get it. We win the game, though. And in this game, for my performance, six tackles, a tackle for loss, and a pick. I won't play her the game. Alright, so taking a loss on the first game of the season, we're starting to climb up in the ranks now. We're ranked number seven, planning as Florida Atlantic. And already in this game, they haven't really passed the ball at all. They've been doing a whole lot of running stuff. And I tried to play both sides of this speed option, and they ended up picking up the first because of it. They probably would have got it anyway. They've been running the ball so much, I wasn't expecting them to pass the ball. And not only that, he threw it right to my zone, right over my head, picking up a big play for the first. First and 10, now in the red zone, they're running the ball right up the middle. I had to get there to prevent that first down. They're running the ball again on second and two, and that old line is blocking really well. They picked up another first down. Now, why coach takes me out the game during goal line plays, I have no idea, but offense ended up scoring luckily, so it's a tie game. They've been doing all this running in the first quarter, and they even ran the ball on third and three. Like, what was they thinking? Offense got locked up, so it's time for us to lock them up again. An amazing blitz, getting back to second them for eight yards. Third and 18, running cover one man, and everybody is locked up. Quarterback can't find him when to throw the ball to. He finally gets the ball out, but 
He ain't picking up that first, though. Well, I'm guessing this is going to be a very defensive game. Because, yeah, offenses just aren't doing anything right now at all. And if this is going to be a defensive game, then we better not lose. Because the way we be playing, the way our defensive coordinator put us in position to make the plays, unmatched. I don't know what's with them boys and running the ball on third down. But, uh, yeah, you're not picking that up. He almost had it, but he fell three yards short. This time, offense score, And that's really all we need. First and 10. I'm trying to get to the other side to make this play, but... I got that too late. Under a minute left in this first half on second and 11, they're running a the screenplay. And you know how we get down on screenplays. It ain't happening. This time on third down, they decided to go ahead and pass the ball instead of running it. Had a receiver open, but he ended up getting tackled right before the first. Good tackle. Second half now still up 14 and 7. They trying to get their run game going, but uh, yeah, that ain't happening. Getting back, they're getting the tackled for loss. And at this point, momentum's all on our side. Third and 12, nobody's open. He had to take the check down and a great tackle. Well, at least defensive-wise, we got the momentum. Second and 10, and that D-line picks up a big sack. On third and 18, they probably ran the most basic offense they could have possibly ran. Slants with flats. For what? All right, now stuff is starting to get ridiculous. At this point, it's defense playing against defense because neither offense is doing anything right now. On second and five, they ran a read option. The quarterback almost met with me on the outside, but instead went back inside, and I met with an old lineman. I guess they found something that works, but me, I'm really trying to hit that quarterback. They not letting me do it though. QB still end up getting hit, but man, I want that. Man, I really feel like they're getting way too comfortable running both their quarterback. Just wait till he fumbles. This time, they did a read option, but instead, they handed off with their running back, and he fought and almost ended up getting the first down. And just as we was expecting, third and two, another speed option. My boy got the quarterback, and I got back there and got the running back. No first for y'all. On fourth and two, they decided to go for it, and I had my chance to hit the quarterback, but bro hit me with a move. Broke my tackle, couldn't get a hit stick on him, and he ended up picking up the first down. Now that we're here, we gotta play bend on break. We know they're gonna run the ball. They ran the ball with the running back, and luckily, enough of us was there to make sure that he didn't get that tug. And again, I'll never understand why coach takes me out the game on goal line plays, but he ended up taking me out. They scored a touchdown, but luckily, offense ended up scoring too. So we got to prevent them from scoring a touchdown, and we just allowed a big play. We have not allowed a play like this all game. So from here, keep on trying to make tackles and bounds and maybe even try to strip them. We're doing that here. Multiple people there. No one could get that ball out. They decided to run the ball again on second and eight. We had multiple people shedding, but still, he gained four yards. On third and four, I'm going to flats. I'm trying to bait him up to throw this over here, but instead, he throws to the other side, and they picked up the first down. First and ten now. 30 seconds left in this game. The quarterback got a little bit too much time, and the DN finally gets to him picking up the sack. After spiking the ball, it's now third and 18. He tried to hit the receiver, was running from the sidelines, and that's incomplete. Great defense. And then, fourth and 18. Now look, I ain't gonna lie. Out of all people, I wasn't expecting him to test me. He threw this ball up to the tight end, and I ended up getting dunked on for them to pick up the first down. And so, now on first and goal, the quarterback uses his legs to go ahead and pick up this touchdown. And now, we're going to OT. I don't want no T, and I know it's because of me that we're here. I got to make sure I don't mess up at all. But if it's one thing I love about this team, it's how many playmakers we got. Anybody can make a play at any time. And on this play, the linebacker did a great job at baiting up this quarterback to throw this ball and caught the pick that's probably going to win the game because all offense needs to do is kick a field goal. Great business. And so, yeah, because of my boy, we ended up winning this game. We almost lost because of me. That's crazy. I need to lock in. Now coming into the fifth game of the season, we're 3-1 and, and ranked number six in the nation. And that one loss we had in the first game of the season, we shouldn't have had that. But all we could do from that is just learn from it and look forward and focus on what's in front of us. In front of us, we got a 1-2 Virginia team. And yeah, they're definitely a team that shouldn't beat us. But losing the first game of the season to Toledo like we did, there's always a chance. Now look, I ain't gonna lie. Starting this game off, Virginia started off pretty well. But right here on first and 10, the receiver dropped the ball. And right before it could fall, my boy Damari Brown picked that ball off and took that thing for six. Crazy play. Second and six, we're playing a cover three zone. I see this receiver coming across the middle about to catch his ball. I wanted to pick that off and I got too aggressive. I should have tried to hit him so he'll drop the ball, but instead, he ended up picking up the first. They're trying to get the run game going, doing a fake fullback run and tossing it to the running back. He ended up breaking a couple tackles, but then he was tackled normally, ended up losing the ball. That quarterback had a chance to pick that ball up, but he ended up missing it. We picked that ball up and scored a touchdown. Another touchdown off a turnover. All right, so at this point, we're up 21-0 to zero with about two minutes left in the first half, and we are not letting up. Now look, this is a situation where they need to try to pass the ball. They need to try to pick up the first down and try to get down the field and at least get some points, but they decide to run the ball. That's just not smart at all. Defensively and offensively, we've been dominating in this game, but me, I really haven't been able to do nothing. I tried to bait up on this deep route, but it was overthrown luckily because I got burned. And after that, starters end up getting set for the rest of the game. I mean, it really wasn't too much of a game anyway, but I ain't do nothing. 
two tackles. Now we're playing a one and four Georgia Tech team, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good for them at all. Cause after playing the game we just played, we feeling good. And already their quarterback is throwing up a very dumb pass that is picked off by my boy Jay Rich. Offense ended up scoring, and right now we got them at third and six, and they're out of field goal range. Just trying to pick up the first down, but amazing defense by Jay Rich again. Second and 10, I'm playing a deep half, but he threw this little check down, so I had to come down and lay some wood. Now, I don't know if they watched any film about any game we done played, but you can't run the ball on third down on us. That just doesn't work. Fourth down. And well, would you look at offense? They done scored almost every single drive we done gave them. And now on first and 10, I'm trying to help my boy guard this out right, but I got there way too late. Guarding the middle on second and three is a receiver standing right the first down. I really want him to throw that so I can catch that pick, but he had another route wide open. Picked up the first. Whenever I say quarterback scramble, I feel like it's an opportunity of a lifetime here. I should have got a good hit stick in on him, but... I did a conservative tackle on him for some reason. On third and 10, we're running cover two man, and he threw this ball right at where that safety was playing it, and it's double covered. Incomplete. It's been a couple games since I caught a pick. I'm really trying my hardest, and I tried to bait up here, but I came way too far off of that route, end up getting the catch, two yards short of the first. Second and two, just trying to throw the ball out to the flash, try to see if the running back can get that, but he's not getting that great tackle. On third and four, I'm going to flash, but I feel like I should have made a play on this ball right here, but I was out of position, and they picked up the first. After not getting the pick for a couple weeks, it's about time. On second and nine, while playing this deep half, he finally throws his ball up, and somehow, the receiver still got his hands on that ball. I should have picked that off. Didn't even react to it. And then again, I don't know what's with this running the ball on third down, but it's third and nine. They decided to run the ball, and honestly, he probably could have got it. Luckily, he was tripped up, though. But man, this game went just like how it should have went. We're dominating up 28-0 to zero here in the fourth quarter, and that should have been picked off. So yeah, us as a team, we're doing what we need to do. But me, I feel like I'm not holding my weight. And the thing about that is, yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. You know, haven't lost again since the first game of the season, but... This is my last season, and I got to show out. Because, yes, I had an amazing first two seasons of my NCAA career. But if I, like, you know, play terribly this year, like so far, it ain't going to look too good for me in the draft board. And so, throughout this season, I'm just going to have to get better. I'm going to have to make sure that the last half of games this season is not like this first half, because this is very mid. But, yeah, haven't really been making too many plays. But if it's one thing I know teams going to like, is that when I do make the plays, I bring a lot of energy to my teammates. Now, every single time I hit somebody, I make sure they feel that. On first and 10, while covering the deep zone, this receiver came across the field on the end route. And in my eyes, I finally saw an opportunity to catch a pick. But instead, the receiver got to the ball before I could, and it just being an incomplete pass. Third and four, we're running man defense. I'm supposed to be guarding this half of the field over here, but I decided to go ahead and let my boy Jay Rich have that. And the QB ain't having no time to throw that ball down the field anyway. Well, 14 to zero now, and on second and 13, they're trying to get their run game going, but immediate block shares for a tackle for loss. On third and 16, they had a pretty good play draw. If this was third and 14, they probably would got the first down, but fell two yards short of the first. They got the ball back, first and 10, and they threw a little out route to the receiver. But I'm coming in, laying a big hit stick on that boy, and he dropped the ball, and we get the ball on their side of the field. Now somehow, with a minute and a half in the first half, offense couldn't score a touchdown or even get a field goal, so we're still at 14 to zero coming into the second half. On second and two, for some odd reason, the quarterback had a wide open receiver, but he still threw the ball out of bounds. And then on third and two, trying to run the ball, which is what they should have done on second and two, and the running back got tackled right before he was able to take off, losing the yard. If it's one thing about me, maybe the coach don't like it, maybe he do, but I'm in a deep zone, and I still decide to guard this tight end. He still ended up getting open, but he dropped the ball. Guess it's that ring. Now on third down, the quarterback can't find nobody to throw the ball to. Hold the ball on for too long, got crushed in the backfield. Well, 21 now, and I feel like I really need to catch a pick. I'm playing a deep zone, but I saw this receiver going to an out route. The quarterback threw it, and I could have had that pick, but my teammate was right there, and he should have caught that at least. Yeah, man, another game, another game with no pick. At least I forced the fumble, though. Looking at my stats midseason compared to last season and the season before that, this is very, very trash. But just looking at the school record for most picks in a career, Ed Reed, I'm coming for you. There's no way I don't catch two picks in these last games. I know, enough about my individual stuff. We're playing in a very big game against FSU. And y'all know the last two times we played them, it was fun and we won. A little Florida matchup in the rain. Y'all already know how our defense get down. FSU most definitely was not watching tape on how good our defense is at stopping screen plays from happening. Screen plays almost never get yards against us. I don't know why they tried it. Up 9-0 at the end of the first quarter, and their quarterback ran a read option, ended up picking up the first down. I got blocked, lucky for him, because I was going to knock his head off of his shoulders. 
Second and 14, guarding this receiver in the slot. I allowed him to catch this flat route so I can get down there and let a big hit on him. On third and 14, the quarterback look a little desperate. He forced his ball into double coverage, and y'all already know it's incomplete. Should have been picked off, to be honest. Back on defense side of the ball, still up 9 to 0. Second and 8, they run the ball at the middle, and he's meeting with me. And then, I, man, I, I guess they just don't learn. Third and four, and look at what they do. A screenplay. Like, one of us is going to be on that. This time, it was me. Still the first half of 16 to 0 right now, and look at what they're doing once again. We're getting back there, getting a tackle. Stop it. I mean, at this point, when will they ever learn? New half, same story. Stop running these screens. And finally, they change up their style a little bit. They finally run a different play other than a screenplay. Read option actually ended up working. But luckily, I got there, knocked his head off his body prevent the first down. They tried to the speed option on third and inches. He should have threw that to his running back because his running back would have picked up the first down. Instead, he took a tackle for loss. By one minute left in the third quarter, they're doing another speed option. This time he throws it to the running back, but I'm getting back there making the tackle. I mean, at this point, it's getting annoying how repetitive they are. They keep running the same plays thinking it's going to work. It's not going to happen. We're up 23 to 0 at this point in the fourth quarter with three minutes left. And finally, they do a pass and play. And my dumb aggressive self goes for a hit stick, completely misses them. And he goes in for their first points of the game. But it's not like that even mattered. We came to their crib and whooped on them. And this time, you know, I was a little more involved. Eight tackles, four tackles for loss. But man, I'm fiending for a pick. Now we're seven and one, ranked number five in the nation, and I'm coming into this game hoping I can finally catch a pick. I mean, it's the ninth game of the season. I still have one pick. But not only that, I'm not playing that well coverage-wise. Like I'd say this season, compared to my last two seasons, I look more as just a hard-hitting safety. That's just out there, the hit stick. And that's it. And even with all the success my team is having right now, I see my draft stock just going down every game just because I'm not playing as well as I was my first two seasons. And I mean, it's only going to get worse when I keep making plays like this. I have a clear hit on this quarterback and I completely miss him. Like, it's just a bad season for me so far. But for my teammates, them boys is going crazy, especially that D-line. Like, that quarterback tried to scramble, but nah, he ain't going nowhere. Second to 10, they ran a read option. I was hoping he hand that ball off to the running back, but instead he took it as his own end up getting tackled anyway. Now look, I don't know what's going on with us this season and dropping picks as a team, but my boy Jay Rich, you gotta pick that off because that could have been six. Second to 10, I almost had a clear shot on this running back. Instead, my teammate hit him for me. On third and seven, they tried to run a screen play and y'all know from through this season, those don't work on us. They got the ball back and they decided to do another running back screen and this really should have been picked off, but he swatted the ball down. Now listen here, from here on out, this quarterback just started throwing dots. First on off with this corner route, Picking up the first down. And then on first down, another corner route right over my flat zone in between the other zone to pick up another first. And then while we in man coverage, the slot receiver beat our guy to the inside, another first down. And then to end this drive off, on second and five, he threw this ball right over all of our zones to the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Icing on the cake. And now coming into the second half, they got a chance to go ahead and tie this game up. Second and three, running the ball with the quarterback, and he's taking a big hit. Got the first down though. Well, I guess that quarterback is not done throwing dots. First and 10, throwing this ball to the middle of our zones in the middle of the field for another first. Now look, I ain't gonna lie. This is a beautiful pass over that DB's head, but Ty didn't drop the ball. That's tough. And so after dropping the game tying touchdown, they're trying to run the ball here, run a read option, and the quarterback gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. On third and 12, they decide to go here and run the ball. I guess they're settling for the field goal. I don't understand why they did it, but I guess. They got the field goal, but our offense scored a touchdown. So up 21 to 10, and they trying to run the ball again. Loss of three yards. They're trying to run the ball again here on second and 13, getting tackled backfield again. And then on third and 17, almost immediate pressure. The quarterback had to scramble out to the right side, trying to throw it to the left, and that's out of bounds. Well, 35 to 10 on 4th and 13, I feel like I had my opportunity to finally catch a pick. The ball is up in the air, and before I can get to it, Jay Rich got his hands on it, and he dropped it. It's crazy how many picks we dropped this season as a team. But we ended up winning the game. I had nine tackles, but man, y'all don't understand how much I'm fiending for a pick right now. Now look, this is the 10th game of the season, and if I don't turn up real quick, I'm going to mess around and fall even deeper into the draft than where I already am right now. So, in these last games of my college career, I gotta make sure I'm trying to make every single play I possibly can because I might mess around and have to play an extra season. But if I want to make plays, I can't think about how I've been doing in the past. I got to look towards the future and make sure I'm making every play that I possibly can. Speaking of making plays, second and seven, and when it looked like my boy DPJ was beat over the top, that boy jumped up and caught that pick. A 14 to zero now, on three and one, quarterback decides to use his legs, picking up the first down and more. And then on first and 10, while playing a flat, I was hoping the quarterback was gonna throw this flat route, but instead threw that ball to the sideline and it almost got picked off. 
on second and 10. I ended up getting caught up trying to guard two routes and it ended up being a wide open corner route, picking up the first down. Going to flats on second and 10 and I am begging the quarterback to throw this route, but instead, those are two receivers to get third inches. They are only short inches of the first down trying to run the ball and they lose three. That's tough. To be honest, I cannot remember the last time Clemson beat us. I'm pretty sure I'm three and oh against them. Well, counting this game right here, we're up 21 to zero in the third quarter. Just dominating them right now. Passing ain't working for them, and they're trying to get the run game going second to seven, and they just back there getting that great tackle for loss. And then finally, on third and nine, playing the deep zone, he throws his out route. I get down there and make a play on that ball. Give me that pick. And man, y'all don't even understand how happy I was, how excited I was to finally catch a pick for the first time since I don't even know when. But it don't end there. Third and inches, they're on our side of the field and basically the same scenario, playing a deep half, throwing a corner route, and I'm picking that off too. Give me that, and I'm taking this thing for six. Come on, man. Finally catching a pick, but not only just one, I caught two picks in that game, the biggest game I done had of the season so far. And not only that, I'm breaking the school record for interceptions in a career, breaking Ed Reed's previous 21. After that two-pick game I just had, I know the scouts are liking that. But I know the scouts is definitely not liking this. Like, I gotta aim my hit sticks better. But this week, we got a big game. Playing against number nine, North Carolina, who is 9-1, and one, and we are also 9-1, and one, ranked number three. So we already know coming into this game, it's gonna be a battle. But the thing is, they don't have Drake May. But still, they got some good talent on their team. Second and three, they're trying to run the ball up the middle, and I'm getting right through that gap. Hitting for a tackle for loss. Then on third and four, guarding his deep half, he ran the corner out, so I went over there, and he ended up running right back to the middle of the field to pick up the big game. Like, I don't even understand. They ran a speed option on second and 12, and they quarterback got lit up, boy. On third and nine, the quarterback tried to take the easy drag route, but instead, Jaden Harris had other plans. Jumping that route and picking that ball off, but too bad he is too slow to get the six. Somehow, offense still hasn't scored yet. It's zero to zero right now. Second quarter just started, so I'm guessing it's going to be one of those type of games i never understand why people try to run the ball on third and five it's a little qb draw and it's not happening tackle for loss we scored this time now they got the ball first and ten quarterback trying to run the ball again this time losing seven yards on that rush but then he ended up picking all that back up on this play second and 17 throwing a dot over jay rich pick up the first down i'm playing the middle on this first and ten i see this guy coming on the end ride one of that quarterback throw the ball but he ended up getting sacked Second and 18, playing the deep zone. The quarterback threw this in route a little bit too far ahead. I came down and picked that ball off. Give me that. Up 10 to 0, and at this point, the turnover is starting to get crazy. The quarterback's trying to scramble. He ended up getting tackled, and he fumbled the ball. We picked the ball up on their side of the field. Come on, man. Up 17 to 0 now in the second half, and them boys better lock in, because if they don't, we just going to go ahead and blow them boys out. Second and three, this quarterback finds his running back standing at the first down, catching the ball, picking up the first down. Coach got me playing over the top on first and 10, but I see a receiver coming across the middle, so I try to come down and make a play on the ball, but he still caught the ball, picked up the first. I know it's not safe when I'm supposed to be going to deep zone, but I come down on zones, but hey man, sometimes you just gotta have some fun and get some hit sticks. On third and four, they almost picked up this first down off this slant, but instead, bro got tackled one yard short of the first. 17 to 3 after they kicked that field goal and on third and eight, we're running hard, cold, man. QB tried to scrum, but every single D lineman was there picking up that sack. On third and three, right before that quarterback was finna get sacked, he threw a pick right to number six and he took that thing for six. Game is basically over with, but third and 10, and he's testing me deep down the field and I really wanted this, but the receiver got his hands on the ball. I had to knock that out. Here I go, man, having a stretch of games that I needed. Eight tackles, a tackle for loss, and a pick. Gotta keep this going. We are now the number one team in the nation at 10 and one, playing against two and nine Pittsburgh. And with this being the last game of the regular season, we gotta make sure that we don't even go close to losing in this game. And starting with the first drive of the game, third and 12, he's taking a check down. And the receiver took a big hit. Third and six, and I don't know what's going on with us in not catching picks or not trying to catch picks, but he swatted that ball down when really, he knows he should have picked that off. Offense turned the ball over, but not only that, they are already on our side of the field, so we got to make sure they don't score no tug. And me, with the run I've been having these last couple games, I ain't letting that happen. Second and four, and I'm guarding a slant. And I feel like he ain't throw it to my man, but I'm still there. Give me that pick, and I'm taking this thing for six. 
After getting tackled for loss on second and 13, they're trying to pass the ball, and the quarterback couldn't find nobody he wanted, so he tried to scramble outside the pocket and immediately got sacked. Then on third and 18, quarterback got a little desperate. He threw this ball deep down the field in double coverage. Should have been picked off, but it's incomplete. On second and 11, they decide to do a read option. This quarterback better watch out because I'm always ready to lay the boom on somebody. See, now sometimes even when you're guarding the deep zone, you just got to help out underneath a little bit. There's two slants and I helped out. Quarterback had nobody to throw the ball to, got sacked. Probably their last job of the first half. Well, 14 to 3 right now, second and seven. They're trying to run the ball. Immediate tackle for loss. Third and 10, and we're in man coverage. I'm guarding the slot receiver, and the quarterback tested me on this corner route. Give me that pick. Games like this are just what I needed to go ahead and get my stock back up. Because, man, the first half of this season was just depressing. And with it being the last game of the regular season, we'll be able to go into the conference championship with a lot of momentum. As right now, our defense just looks like an unstoppable force. I mean, not even only against this team. Even against the top team in the nation, as we've seen against UNC, just crazy defense. But Pittsburgh is finally back in the red zone since probably the first quarter on second and goal. He's throwing the drag route to the tight end. I'm getting a big hit on him. On third and goal, for some odd reason, the quarterback just threw this ball right in between the field goal posts. I guess they're going for three. But the game isn't over yet. They're back in the red zone, and uh, yeah, the quarterback's not done throwing picks. He throws one more just to go ahead and get up out of here. Man, what a great stretch of games I'm having. Six tackles, one tackle for loss, and two picks. But I got to make sure I can do something like that here against Clemson. And y'all know every time we play against them, we ball out. And on the first drive, the quarterback's testing my side of the field, and I'm jumping this corner route, catching a crazy one-hand pick. Give me that. And with me putting the offense that close, I really feel like they probably should have scored a touchdown. But hey, man, at least they scored some points. And really, it's fine because we know we're going to come out here and lock Clemson up. They try to run the receiver screen, and yeah, that stopped. I guess they're deciding to give up on this drive. Third and 14, they're running the ball up the middle and, you know, getting tackled, putting the ball. Now listen here, plays like this are why my draft stock is starting to go down. Because like, what am I doing? I almost hit the quarterback, but then I kind of, you know, second guessed it. And he ended up taking that for a big game. Trying to run the outside run on second and 10, and they ain't gained nothing. We're running cover two man on third and 10, and this quarterback made a big mistake. He threw it to my zone. Give me that pick. And well, offense didn't do anything with my pick, but you at least got to do something with this pick right here. Another pick thrown by that quarterback. It's like he playing catch with us. We are not your receivers, my guy. Offense ended up scoring with that pick, and now we're up 10 to 0 on second and 10. They end up taking a loss after throwing that flat. Loss of five yards. And then, third and seven, the quarterback throws another pick to Damari Brown again. That's my boy's second pick of the game, and he's taking this thing for six. Right now, we're going crazy. We're up 17 to 0 in the second quarter with two minutes left. I got two picks, and Damari Brown got two. Third and six, the quarterback takes the wide open drag route, and somehow he finds a way to not pick up this first down. Falls one yard short, goes out of bounds. Because they were scared to go for it, they're down 17 to 0 in the second half. Now on third and six, getting tackled for another fourth down. It's almost like this quarterback thinks that we are his wide receivers. Almost had another pick for us, but that was dropped. On third and four, they were in a screenplay. And this is the first time a screenplay has worked on us in a long time. That should end up picking up the first down. Running the speed option on first and 10, and the quarterback decided to keep the ball, getting tackled by two people. I mean, the running back was going to get killed anyway. Running the ball for real on second and 13, and he's getting tackled for loss. I don't know why they keep trying this, but I guess. At this point, their whole offense is just lost. Third and 16, he can't find no one to throw the ball to, just scattering around in the pocket, breaking a couple of sacks, but finally getting taken down. On first and 10, they had a touchdown. Jay Rich got beat over the top, and still, they couldn't complete that pass. But it didn't happen just one time. It happened once again, and this time, it was complete for the touchdown, their first points of the game. I put that one on me. Because now, Clemson got the ball back, and there's three minutes and a half left. And if they score fast enough and get a stop on our offense, they have a chance to win this game. But I don't think they understand that if they keep running the ball like this, that's not going to happen. They finally decide to pass the ball on third and 12, taking a slant, and now it's going to be fourth down. And this is basically going to decide the game because they don't get this, is over. Fourth down, quarterback drops back in the pocket and delivers a dot to a slant right before he was going to get hit. He made that catch. On third and two, they're going for the end zone. And really, this should have been picked off. I don't know what's going on with us in dropping picks. Going for it on fourth and two, and all they need is two yards, so they took the flat route, and they easily picked it up. Second and go. No room on the field, and I'm standing around in the middle of the field waiting for him to throw it, and he does. Give me that pick, and I'm taking this thing for six. Come on, now. 
And off of that pick, I now hold a new NCAA record for the longest pick six in NCAA history with 103 yards. What a game, eight tackles and three picks. As we win another ACC Conference Championship and most likely my last time doing this. And now, we got the Natty to worry about. Before that, you know what I'm saying, got a couple awards. But now, it's time for the Natty. And in the National Championship, we're playing against 12 and one, number two ranked in the nation, Ohio State. This is gonna be a game. Third and two, the quarterback don't find nobody he wanna throw the ball to, so he decides to use his legs. He got an open lane, picks it up, but before he can go down, I knocked him off his feet. Second and six, they decide to run a speed option. He threw that thing to the running back, and I'm knocking that boy out too. Playing some pretty great defense. Here on third and nine, amazing man defense caused this quarterback to throw that ball right to our DB. Picked off. So, offense didn't do anything with it. But y'all know how we do. We can come back out here and lock up once again. Try to run a speed option on second and 14, and all that happens is a tackle for loss. Big hit too. Then on third and 18, the only way to pick this up is throw it deep. But instead, he has to take a check down because he ain't got nothing deep. Gets tackled, fourth down, got to punt that ball. And again, it's a defensive game right now. They got a stop, and now we got another stop. Still 0-0 zero zero right now. Almost a minute left in the first half, and they're finally starting to march down the field, getting a slant for the first down. On second and one, the quarterback tried to scramble outside the pocket, but instead him to get sacked for eight yards. Then on third and nine, they ran slants. Linebacker standing right there, amazing defense swatting that thing down. It's the second half now. We finally got a touchdown. All we gotta do is keep on preventing them from scoring, and we can win this game easily. Third and six, I'm playing a deep half. This receiver ran a post route, tried to get down there and make a play on the ball, but great defense from Jay Rich. Here they go, back trying to run the ball again with that quarterback, and that's just not happening. Losing four yards. When you run screens against us, there's a 1% chance that you can complete that and get the first down. And here, this is the 99%. Now, this is the downfall of Ohio State. Well, 14-0, the quarterback tried to scramble, got hit, and fumbled, and we picked that ball up. That's tough. And that's game. And so, we went back-to-back -back national championships. Come on, man. Now, I catch no picks in this game, but definitely made a lot of plays. And as a defense, we just did what we've been doing all season. Locked up. But hey, man, set a new record for interceptions in the career for Miami at 28. But that's not the only place where you can see my name at in the record books. And now, I need y'all to look at my season stats and how many picks I had this season. Nine. And it's crazy because I went like seven, nine, eight games or whatever with just one pick. And so, through these three years of my college career, we think I'm going to get picked at the NFL draft. And do you think my college career is first-round pick worthy?